Hi there, and welcome to Andy Robinson RC, and cheers for checking out the channel today. And on today's episode, we have this. It's just come out, especially in the UK. It is Team Associated's new two-wheel drive buggy. It's the RB10. Okay, now, we'll get into this buggy in a sec. Now, if you remember... Uh, a few videos back, and I'll put the link in the description if you don't remember. We tested out the RC10 SR10 Dirt Oval Racer. Now, I think I did mention in that video that this would be coming out soon. And this is, uh, again, based on the very same platform that this is. Uh, so this is the buggy variant. So we're going to check this out today and I'm going to be letting you know what I'm going to do with it. So anyway, we'll just put this here at the side for a minute. Because this box is quite big. So yeah. So but I mean, I, I absolutely love this SR10. So I thought we'd get the buggy in as well. Always been a fan of associated buggies. So yeah, RB10, 1 scale, ready to run. Two-wheel drive, electric off-road buggy. Um, and from the box. Okay, it's ready to run. I said it's 1 10, two-wheel drive, electric powered, off-road, 2.4 gig megahertz radio. And it's all pre-painted as well. It also does come, if you can see there, my finger is, with DVC, which is driver vehicle control. Is it driver vehicle control? Sorry. Oh no, sorry, almost dynamic vehicle control. Same as this, uh, that also has the DVC in as well. It helps with the uh, correct steering uh, when you're driving and uh, to try and keep the car you know, going in the right direction. So ideal for beginners. Um, although I'm not sure if you took this racing on tracks, you, you would be generally allowed the DVC. Um, I don't think you would, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, this is brushless powered as well. Same uh, radio equipment as what you find in the SR10. And also the DR10, which is the uh, no prep drag racer that Team Associate brought out. Right, let's get the box lid open. Now, I am guilty of already opening this lid this morning uh, because I'm way too excited when a new car turns up. So I did have a quick peek inside. So yeah, nice box as well. Okay, so let's have a look what you get. So I say this will come out. Usually when you buy one of these, the car is fixed into the uh, box with uh, big chunky cable ties. Of course, I've already had it out, so they're not in there. So anyway, we will lift this out. Get rid of that as well. And there you go. One tenth scale two wheel drive buggy. Now, considering that these are the same chassis, doesn't that look a lot smaller next to the SR10? <laughs> oh dear, massive, isn't it? In, compa in comparison. But well, that is mainly down to the, the body shell. Okay. Right, okay, so what can I say about this then? Well, if you're not familiar with this platform at all from Team Associated, uh, this the idea of this um, is that you can buy a two-wheel drive buggy that's, uh, you know, decent quality. Um, it's, it can trace its lineage back to the Team Associated's older competition buggies like the, the B5, and the uh, the B4, the RC10 B4 and B5s. Um, but you can still take this down to a track and give racing a go if you wanted to. That is sort of the idea of where this is. Um, this cost uh, in the UK about £290. Mine came from Make It, Build It. Uh, again, I can put a link in the description to that website. Well, that's where this one came from. Um, and again, it's completely ready to run. The only thing you don't get is any batteries uh, for the car handset, or you don't get a charger either. Right, so quick flip. That is the underside of the chassis. So I say, if you are familiar with your team associated, 
this chassis here layout, at least the pan part of the chassis, um, is really similar to the RC10B4. I'm going to take the body shell off. Nice body. I quite like this. Now, I went for red, and you can get the blue version as well, but I went for red, and actually, I prefer it more than I thought, because in the pictures of it online, the red's really vibrant, and I wasn't as keen on that. But, um, but I didn't want another blue buggy. So um, I went for the red, and it's a much darker red, and I do like that. That's cool. Okay, so that is the inside of it there. Okay, as you can see. Now, your receiver with DVC is located in there. Now, you can alter the settings on the DVC. I think it comes set at four. Um, you can turn it up to eight, so it'll be more sensitive to correcting uh, the input that you give the uh, wheels from the handset or you can disable it completely, which I might have to do for if uh, we take this to the track. I say if it is going to the track. Uh, and you get the SC600BL uh, personal speed control. It's capable of 3S to my knowledge. And um, yeah, plenty powerful. And I think it's about 80 amp, that speedo. It did say somewhere. I'm sure it's about 80 amp. It's either 60 or 80. <laughs> I'll have a look to see if I can find in a minute. I'm sure it's one of the two. Um, and also as well, you get the uh, 3,300 brushless reading motor that is, it is um, sensorless, it's not censored. Um, but I did, as I said, when I had it out of the box this morning, I just did switch it on. I just drove it up the street slightly and it all works as it should. There's no cogging or anything like that. So it's uh, it's great. Now, plans are for this. Okay, now, um, I am going to be giving this buggy to my son, uh, Devlin, who uh, comes racing with me, and this is going to be his uh, race buggy. He did have a Schumacher KR. Again, it was still in the uh, two-wheel drive rear motor layout. Um, again, it was mainly that and not a mid-motor one because all the batteries we own are NIMS <laughs> and they run down and you know it, it can put them, you can put the batteries down the center of the chassis on these buggies so that's why we generally have them um so that's good we can still use our impacts in this of course you can put a short uh, shorty lipo in there um if you wanted to run lipos or a stick uh, lipo as well you've got two velcro straps that'll hold it in nicely Okay, but yes, yeah, so um, I'm going to be giving this to my lad and uh, it, we're going to see how he gets on with racing. In fact, we're going racing tonight. We're going to uh, Ribble Valley Radio Control Car Club in Leyland, which is near Preston if you're in the UK. So he's going to be trying this out. Um, we're going to pretty much run it exactly as you see it here, with the exception we may change the tyres out from some t for tyres that suit the track. Um, because we're racing on EOS carpet, so uh, I've got a feeling we're going to have to change these, uh, excuse me, these wheels and tyres out for that. But other than that, it will be ran as you see it here. Oh yeah, with the addition of a transponder, I've got to fit in uh, after this video. So yeah, so we're going to see how we get on, and then in another video, I will show you this running, and uh, I'll let you know how we're. Uh, my lad get on, got on racing this. I mean, pretty much all the buggies now, even at most um, most clubs these days, unless you are racing in the vintage class like me, they're all mid-motor buggies. It's very uncommon these days to see rear motor. But um, as I said, this is from Team Associated. It is not designed um, as an all-out uh, competition vehicle unless you went back to sort of like 2013 where you still had uh, rear motor buggies it was sort of transitioning then and onwards into mid motors they were becoming more popular and that was the direction things were going um, so if you took it back then i'm sure it'd be um you know very competitive with the uh, the top drivers of the time providing you um you probably needed uh, different electrics in and you'd have the uh, your different wheels and tyres for it and whatnot. But other than that, 
um, it should perform well. As I said, it is based on, well, it's based between an RC10B5 and an RC10B4. As I said, the chassis is very, very reminiscent of the B4 design. As I said it allows that stick pack to sit in the middle of the chassis and the electrics either side. Okay, but after having do, done some more research, because remember in my video on this, I did say that, uh, you know, it was kind of like based on a B4. Um, so I did a bit more uh, research about this and it'll be the same applies to that. This whole uh, rear end, the entire rear end, wishbones, shock tower, gearbox assembly is straight off an RC10 B5, not the RC10 B5 M which came out just after the B5, or you could get a conversion kit, but the B5, just a normal rear motor B5. And the, but the chassis on the B5 was completely different because uh, it was accepting that they'd gone over, they were starting to go away from, you know, putting stick packs down the middle and they were putting shorty, shorty lipos in. So the chassis layout uh, itself was different on the, the B5. Front end geometry, although the shock tower is slightly different, so it can use the uh, added bumpers and things for the uh, other variants of cars on this. It is still pretty much the same uh, geometry as the B4, B5. But uh, I think on the B4s and B5s, you had flat arms um, here. And these have got slightly uh, gull wing arms. So other than that, it is like a traditional rear uh, mounted motor uh, buggy so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing this go around the track tonight i've got to do a couple of jobs after this video but i thought we'd uh, give you some first looks at it uh usual really good quality from team associated uh, never have a problem with their stuff um yeah i'm looking forward to racing this one now before um we finish this video up and whatnot i will just um oh yeah a bit all over the place today uh this is uh, what you get with the car besides the electrics uh besides you know what i've just shown you you do get yourself a body shell that flies off there right bag of goodies i'll just go what's through so you get your uh xp 120 uh 2.4 gigahertz instruction manual for the radio that will also tell you how you turn off the dvc if you can't use it, if you decide to race it. So that's all in there. Quite a nice set. Uh, I, I quite like these. Fits in my hand rather nice. Got a nice foam steering wheel. Perfect. Okay, uh, we've got the instructions for the uh, brushless electric speed control. And I was right, it does take two to three um, S LiPos or six to nine cell NIM battery packs. And um, I'm looking for the amperage now. I can't see it because I reckoned it was about uh, 60, between 60 and 80 amps. And looking at this, I cannot see it. Comes also with like a Dean's plug or a T plug on the end of there. So if you've got different types of plugs, you will have to change it. All mine are either usually T plugs or T plug adapters. I can't see where it says the. Um, how powerful the ESC is. So I apologize for that. I cannot see it. I'm, it's probably right in front of me. I'm pretty sure it's between 60 and 80 amps, I'd imagine for this. Um, if I find out the information, I'll put it in the description in the video. Okay, so here again, you get your team associated manual now, which is very nice looking. And, you know, it gives you, uh, a build guide for it, how to get it going, so you can, which is dead easy, it's pretty much plug and play but, uh, in there as well. If you ever need to strip your car down, um, it gives you a step in step um, instructions on how to uh, build it and rebuild it. And also as well, if you crack on a bit more through it, you've got all the parts, codes and numbers should you ever need to replace anything. So you get your manual as well. Certificate of conformity. Uh, yeah, nice little leaflet here as well with uh, associated related products from uh, Element, Reedy, the uh, factory team options, and Team Associated. So, uh, yeah. 
Okay, and last of all, you get a little bag with some different, uh, like, a, I think a different servo horn. Yeah, different servo horn. I think, is it a servo horn? Sure it is. Yes, sorry. Different servo horn, if you change your servo. And um, shock, low, uh, shock um, collars for adjusting your ride height. Oh, as well, that slipped out. I didn't know where that come from. Bind, cable, uh, bind plug if you need to rebind your receiver to the transmitter. Uh, and uh, what we've got there. Just a couple of tools there. You've got a re wheel wrench, Turnbull colour adjuster, and some Allen keys as well. So that is what you get uh, for your £295. Okay, now let's just, as I said, I just wanted to whip the body shell off the SR10. To be honest as well, I could actually convert this into one of these if I so wish to do so because I said it's the same platform. Well, let's take it off. There you go. Put the huge body down there. Now it looks a bit more lax than the same size. So exactly the same wheelbase. Um, although it does look like there's more uh, rear toe on this. But um, yeah, same wheelbase. Obviously, it's got different tyres. As you can see, if I hold them up, you, you can see. They're exactly the same. Of course, though, with the SR10, again, off, coming off the front shock tower, there, you've got this big, uh, the body mounts and a big foam bumper on there for the, uh, the oval body shell. And at the back, you, again, you've got your body mount there and the big sort of, you know, bumper there at the back of the uh, car. So, I mean, having, you know, feeling that, you know, that is definitely lighter. <laughs> you know, uh, of course, you've got that added weight with the body and whatnot. I mean, it drives absolutely fine, um, but you've got, um, you know, that added weight. Uh, the springs are different as well, I think. Looking at them, the actual springs, these are uh, much, yeah, stiffer springs on the uh, SR10. And also as well, if you can see from there, the shocks on the buggy are mounted on the middle hole on the towers uh, rather than the outside like the uh, SR10. This will allow the car to rotate more in the corners and uh, so it will sort of roll a bit more and it will rotate more. Um, so yeah, which is probably what you want really, especially if you're driving off road. Um, so there you go. Uh, so yeah. So now you've seen uh, both of them, you've seen, you've seen this one before, and you've seen the new um, RB10. I'm very much looking forward to seeing this go tonight. I'm going to take some footage of it if I can, if I get time. Um, but we'll do another video on this, and um, and we'll take it out for a drive so you can see it, you can see it all running. So yeah. Uh, okay, so I hope you'll stay tuned for that one. Uh, it'll be coming up soon. I hope you enjoyed uh, checking this video out today as well. Now, before I do go, I've got a couple more things to mention, and then I shall let you go about your day. So I'll just move them there. This, besides this arriving this morning, I also got this for you, uh, Tamiya fans and Grasshopper and Hornet fans. Here we go. Now, some of you may recognise that. That is another one of the world's most expensive Hornets, <laughs> um, which I got. In fact, this came from Italy. Uh, this is a uh, collaboration that Tamiya did with the fashion brand Supreme. So this is the Tamiya Hornet Supreme Edition. Now, I'll go into it in more detail in a future video. But essentially, you got the black wheels with this variant and it had its own completely different decal sheet and Supreme branding on it. And that is essentially the main difference. But anyway, I'll go into that and get into it on a completely different video. Just wanted to show you it there. I, I like Hornets, I think they're ace, and I did want to get one of these to, to go alongside my other ridiculously expensive Hornet, the uh, Jules Watanabe one. Anyway, so that's coming up on a future video as well. Okay, and the last thing, if you watched our last video where I had the Clod Buster and the Tamiya M Chassis M01, I did mention about this excellent Facebook group um, that I found out about, which is called RCMHAP, which stands for Radio Control Mental Health Appreciation uh, Project. Now, um, if you go on their Facebook group, you'll find it easy enough. 
um they've just had some of the like the charity sort of silicone um like awareness bands that you can buy to help sort of spread the word um so they've just had some of them made up they're black uh, i will get one so you'll see it at some point uh, i'll be wearing it on the channel um so the black band with green lettering on and logo and it's got like the, they've got like a hill uh, like a hill range mountain range logo with rcmhap on so they've got them going now you can order them at 2.99 and that includes the postage as well they're all made uh, from silicon so there's no latex or anything in there um after speaking to the lady who made them or had them made for the for the group there was about 190 left if you're after one and i'll give you the paypal address that you can go to if you want to order one so and again i'll put it in the description uh, for the video so you can order one of these uh, wristbands you can order as many as you like as well you're not restricted to one um but you might have to be quick because as i say there's about 190 left so as i said you can order it from paypal through paypal i should say and the paypal email address you need to be using is rc m h a p 2021 at outlook.com okay and again i'll put that in the description of the video and again so if you need to find it if you haven't managed to take it down uh, and then you can get yourselves uh, one ordered the money uh, as far as i'm aware will be all going to um raising uh, awareness for mental health and they'll be all going to charity as well right okay so that is uh this video done I hope you enjoyed it. I'll hope you, uh, you'll you check it out. Our future videos on the RB10 and the rather expensive Hornet. Uh, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss anything. And also, if you want to, it'd be much appreciated to give us a thumbs up. And come and find us on Instagram under Andy Robinson RC. Or you can come and join us on Facebook on our group, which is Andy Robinson RC Group. And uh, you can see our uh, updates on there as well. Right, okay, I'm now going to clean up my mess I've just made. And I'm going to go and prepare this RB10 for some uh, bit of racing tonight. Right, thank you very much for joining me. Look after yourselves. Have a great weekend and take care.